Although rare, it is possible you will experience a blood spill. All blood should be treated as biohazardous, and you should handle it assuming it contains bloodborne pathogens. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate what to do when a spill happens, including the proper spill cleanup procedure. If you are not comfortable cleaning up a blood spill, please alert your lab manager or lab supervisor, or reach out to a member of Valencia's custodial team. Whenever you clean up a blood spill, be sure you put on appropriate PPE, which includes a lab coat or apron, eye protection, and gloves. When you encounter a blood spill, first collect any sharp objects, such as broken glass, with tongs and place in a biohazard sharps container. Place paper towels over blood spill to absorb, and place in a biohazard bag. Spray the area with disinfectant and wipe with paper towels to remove all visible blood. Be sure to also disinfect the tongs used in spill cleanup. Spray the area with freshly made 10% bleach and allow to air dry for 15 minutes. The bleach solution must be made fresh because diluted bleach is no longer effective after 24 hours. Following the 15 minute contact time, wipe the area down with paper towels and again with disinfectant. Discard all disposable materials used to decontaminate the spill and any contaminated personal protective equipment into a biohazard bag. Seal the biohazard bag and place in a biohazard box for disposal. It is not necessary to autoclave your spill cleanup materials, and remember, you should never autoclave any materials that contain bleach. Remember, only clean up a blood spill if you are trained and feel comfortable to do so. We have other staff on site, such as members of the custodial team, who are also trained, and they may assist in cleanup if needed. Note that if the blood spill was a result of an injury to a faculty, staff, or student, you must also contact security to complete an incident report.